Hey y'all, welcome to the Birmingham real estate market update. This is the 30th week since the shutdown and now recovery that we are going through and looking at the Birmingham real estate market, everything that's happening in our market, as well as the broader economy as a whole. So uh, today we're going to look at the numbers for the last week and compare that to the same week previous year, looking at number of sales and at uh, the inventory picture and kind of what that looks like. And then we'll also just kind of touch on a couple things uh, economically, a couple updates in terms of stimulus. And let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, my name is Rob Drum. I'm a real estate broker at EXP Realty in Birmingham, Alabama here. Uh, my contact information is in the description below. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or anything I can help you with. And I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel. Uh, I've been making these videos 30 weeks now, and I'm going to continue doing that to keep everyone, including myself, updated on what's happening in our market. So last week we had 492 closings that compares to the same week the previous year at 403 closings. So uh, pretty good jump up there initially, almost 100, uh, right about 90 more closings. And if you look at last week, we, we were already running at a higher pace and those numbers get revised every week higher as sales get listed in our MLS, sales get recorded. So that ended up at 451, uh, about 100 higher last week. So the number of sales is starting to run consistently higher than the number of sales for the same period the previous year. I think that's good. I think uh, we'll see higher activity later on into the year to kind of compensate for the shutdown, the slowdown that we had in April and May. And another thing that has kind of been uh, a trend, we've really seen the number of active listings dropping up until right about uh, early September, mid-September. And then really for the last two months, we've seen that number of active listings stabilize right here at around 31 to 3,200 uh, available listings on the market. And I think that's great. That's a sign of strength for the market that the number of the available inventory has stopped dropping. It hasn't gone up at all, but it's at least stabilized. And the number of homes under contract to sell has, has pretty much stabilized. So all these, um, the kind of coronavirus trends are kind of starting to at least stop or stabilize or even reverse in some cases. So I think uh, really, looking like um you know a strong market and, and all signs of the recover a successful recovery are looking good and uh you know we'll continue to keep an eye on this through through this month and through the you know the rest of this coronavirus pandemic however long it goes on on the economic and stimulus front uh talked a lot about these ppp loans on this show i know a lot of you got them and they're now available for to apply for relief. It's a quick two-page two application if your loan was under fifty thousand uh, dollars. It's pretty much like a self-certification; doesn't get too in depth. Uh, I included that on the last two videos I did. I'll include the link in the description below so you can find that form if you need it. And then uh, we're still talking about the next stimulus bill that Congress is discussing, negotiating, and hopefully getting closer to. But, you know, we'll, we'll pick through that and see if there's anything in there that's interesting when it comes out, when it's finalized, if it's finalized. So I thank you for watching today. Uh, again, I'm Rob Drum at EXP Realty here in Birmingham, Alabama. I'd love it if you would subscribe to this show. And I'll keep you updated on everything going on in our market and on the broader economy as a whole. And uh, I will thank you all for watching. And I'll talk to you later.